just checking in here. It's before about maybe an hour and a half where the convention doors open up, but um, I'm here at the waterfront station, just grabbing a quick bite to eat. Uh, Starbucks. Yeah. Breakfast of Champions. Very good. Yeah, I'm just going to see how it is. It acts really nice. Things are kind of calm. And uh, But uh, this is going to be the last day as uh, Fan Expo is only a two-day event. So I imagine things are going to get a lot busier very, very quick. Check back in a bit. And I think this is only Sunday morning. Ooh, and here's one of the benefits of getting premium tickets. We are in early, about maybe a 45 minutes for everyone else who are still standing outside. Yeah, we got some great, great venues here. I mean, holy smokes. Number three collections. Lots and lots and lots of comics. Even more comics. Even more comics. Looks like not everyone is here quite yet. Lots, lots more comics. And then we got this place here, uh, Traders. Uh, oh man, I can't remember the store name. Oh, huge, huge shirt place. Look at this place here. Really huge. <laughs> This is, the, this is the kind of toy booth if you have entirely too much money and a lot of free room in your room. Right, it would be good to just buy all this. <laughs> it's toy traders. They even brought in TARDIS. Oh, excuse me. Might I have a moment of your time? I'm just making a video log for today. This is for uh, this is one of the uh, attend attendants, roof attendant for Toy Traders Collectibles. Exactly. Whereabouts are you located? In Langley on the bypass. We are 150 unit at 19888, the Langley Bypass. The Langley Bypass. I'm gonna have to get up there. Right across from yeah. the Willowbrook Mall between 200 Street and Fraser Highway. Well, I was going to take a bit of traveling for me. It's my first time down here. So how long have you ha, have you been, has this store been coming here to the uh, Fan Expo for a long time? Two years in a row. Two years in a row. Yeah. Oh, that was the other gentleman there. Yeah. <laughs> he is the owner. And it, oh, right this on. This is his, his toy. Oh, wow. Sure. And he's got a lot of toys. I mean, as I was just saying, this is the kind of toy store for people who have a lot of money and a lot of room in their room. Or they have kids. Yeah. Right? There's something for everyone. Oh yeah. I mean he even bought even brought a TARDIS. That was which was really fantastic. Take a, take a trip inside, the door's open, you can have it. Okay. Yep. I had one there yesterday. Nice. Nice. Well, well right on. All right. Thank you, you very much for your show. time. As we're walking around here, getting some more uh, footage of the other various booths, you know, it can't be a convention unless there's something like a Transformers dedicated toy selling booth, which is right here. And I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Well, they got the Halo helmets, and they got a whole bunch of actually, what the gentleman was telling me yesterday, a whole bunch of discontinued Japanese lines. And just even more Transformers, Beast Wars, I didn't see them. Never got a chance to buy those. Of course, got some awesome G1. Uh, lots of MP. Even got Gobbly Scrook, it's Unicron. And of course, lots of used sections here. Oh, slight mistake. We got let in too early, so all of us are just sitting out back here again. Uh, we don't know when they're going to let us back in. Hopefully pretty soon. 
We're not sure if we're supposed to wander that way, kind of like everyone else is wandering that way, or if we just stick around here. I, I think we're just going to stick by this door. This door is going to be this door is going to be our door. Well, check back in soon. All right, they let us back in at about 10 to 10 here after a little bit of a mishap. So now we're back wandering around, just seeing what else we can get. Can't have Comic Convention without a shirt or two or three dozen hundred. Holy smokes! Lots and lots of shirts and bathrobes. Lots of bathrobes. Oh my God! They skinned some poor Wookie to make this. This uh, look. This is this is inhumane. Where's Pita when you need it? Oh Jesus! They probably only care about the cute Wookies. That must have been an ugly Wookie to have done that too. Oh, more Wookies. People. Holy hell! This is a lot. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. Let's take a look inside. Shirts, 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 wallets, hats. And here's where all the autograph booths are. We also got a PlayStation booth right here. We got a whole lot of people here. Prairie, Elvira, Michelle Nichols. That's going to be pretty awesome. And it gets louder and louder as the line grows longer and longer and longer. A whole lot of people here today. As for myself, I'm going over to see Jennifer Hale. But get over there. That way. Excuse me. Sorry, pardon me. Alright. Okay, the camera. Dune, David Krause, Sean Austin, Daniel Logan, Michael Rooker again. Seriously, that guy is hilarious. Some more booths. Lots more booths. And I do believe, yeah, there is the lineup for Jennifer Hale. Which I'm going to get into right now, because if I don't, I won't be able to see her at all today. Line. Uh, if I can find the end of it, where's, where's, where's the end of it? I can't find it. And, 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 I think I found it. I think I found it. In the lineup here for Jennifer Hill, it's ten. It's something like 10 after 10, and it's just insane the amount of people here. There she is over there. And here we are, right here, standing in line, talking with some fellow Mass Effect 3 game, uh, fans, mainly on how badly the ending was, right? That's right. But the ending was horrible. Terrible ending. Not, even with the extended cut, it was all bad, wasn't it? Unforgivably bad. Unforgivably. Well, and if Commander Riker is saying it's bad, you know it's bad. So, we're actually chugging along. Looks like she's trying to get through as many fans as quickly as possible. And you can't blame her. It's kind of, she's kind of like Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner. There's years and years and years of doing this. is boom, 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 done, done, done. So it's going to be great. Hopefully I can just get a few words with her in with the camera here. And I'm here with Jennifer Hill for one quick question so we can keep the line moving. How did it feel after such uh, emotional trip of uh, recording ME3 to come back to Bioware after you asked, Hey Jennifer, we're doing this DLC and then this other DLC and then this other DLC. It was awesome. It was good to not have it be completely over. It was a dream. Right on. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. I'm Ooh, getting really busy now. Just got done the lineup for Jennifer Hill. We're here in the back. Ghost, Ghostbusters! The 501st Legion, and back to the future. Woo. Very intense. Holy smokes, it's a lot back here. Really, cr getting really cramped too. I'm getting a lot of pictures of at the back of people's heads. It's really intense. There's a lot of people back here. It's even busier than yesterday back here was. 
take a gander over at the 501st. Yeah, so he's, um... Always a good group. We're probably, we're definitely going to be seeing them at the Calgary Expo in a week's time. All right, here at the Fan Expo, we got to some really good old school 80s Thundercats here. Right on. So how long did it take to assemble these costumes? Um, not too yeah. long for mine. It's, it's just basically cutting off the span there. Yeah. And, uh, working out. For it. How about you, Mumra? Well, just a couple of a uh, couple of days. All right. So, and there are two versions of the Thundercats out now. Why the '80s version? Like, I love the '80s. Because we're from the '80s. Right on. The 80s. Yeah, really All right. Fun. Thank you, guys. Right. Have a fun time. We're going through Artist Alley around here. We've got comic artists and just regular artists and lots of artists. And it's just as cramped here as it is everywhere else. And my wrist is kind of twisted from turning the camera around. So okay, go down this way here. We've got a reboot guys. Aspen Comics. We got this crew here, very good. Pardon me. There's just a lot of people here. It's amazing how many people they got here. Well, of course we got Legos here. Lots and lots of Legos. Take a look. Ninja Turtles. Incredible Hulk. I think Michael Rooker just came into the building. Ooh. Ooh. This thing is huge. Can you imagine how many hours it took to make that? Jeez. Things get really cheap in the next Star Wars movie. You just might be using this. I'm here with another awesome cosplay after the 80s. We're getting some more modern times with Hellboy, alternate universe Hell Girl. Hell Chick? All right. How long did it take? Because here, I'm just going to go back. You got the belt on the symbol, the arm, uh, the arm, you got the gun. How long did it take to assemble this costume? Um, I've been working on it for about a month. Um, the arm had some trials and tribulations, but it got finished at 3 a.m. on Friday. So this probably took about a week. The gun took, it has so four coats of paint, so it took about a week as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the horns took like an hour, they weren't a problem. Mm -hmm. And the rest is just stuff I had around the house. Mm -hmm. So what kind, uh, I heard it's usually a body glue for stuff like the horns. Uh, what kind was that? Um, I used spirit gum. I'd never used it before. Spirit it's gum? a total pain to get off, but it oh. works so well for the day. Right. And yeah. So why Hell Chick? Like what was it about the character that you enjoy that you want to dress up as them? Well, I always do male characters with a female twist. Last year I was Magneto, Magneta. Oh. And um, it's just because the female characters often are extremely like hypersexualized and like I don't really like that. And so I like to go as the more badass male characters mm -hmm. and just do sort of a slightly more feminine twist on it. I think it's more empowering that way. Plus oh. I got a big gun. Oh yeah, show up show, show us the gun again. Oh, wow, really good. Five coats of paint, you say? Yeah. Well, it's the silver, and then a whole bunch of coats are clear, and then the black. So then I sand the black down to get the silver edges. All right, on. It's worn, yeah. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, no problem. Have a good day. Just got the meat in the shell, Nichols. Got an autographed picture. Now I'm seeing where else I can burn some money. Like, like right here. Coinnick.com. Holy smokes, they got a lot of stuff here.
You got an Ewok. You, you want an Ewok? Oh, I don't think I want an Ewok. Lots of Minecraft. I kept hearing about it. Watch some videos. Not sure if I'm going to play it myself. Just out here on the outside of Vancouver Fan Expo, and I'm talking with a rare Sixth Doctor cosplayer. Now, why do you think there are so few Sixth Doctor cosplayers? Because nobody likes him. The writers kind of screwed him over. It's mm. very unfair. Yeah, unfortunately, all I never. Those tenants and Smiths get all their attention. Mm. Yeah, and even the Seventh Doctor here gets plenty of attention. Fifth. Yeah. Fifth. Oh, yeah, fifth. I'm fifth. Oh dear. It's okay. <laughs> Okay. If yeah. you really want to see Colin Baker at his best, look up Big Finish. They do a wonderful job. Oh, yeah. Them. I heard some of that. I had yes. listened to some of the uh, radio dramas with the Eighth Doctor. Yes. He's gotten a good chance of that, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There are, a lot of fans are actually pushing for him to be in the 50th anniversary. I'd love to see that. Yeah. Yeah. So, now we were talking a little bit earlier in the lineup outside about how long it took to make this coat. Could you do just a spin? It was... About three months of work yeah, and I mean, cost about three hundred dollars. Uh, three months and three hundred dollars. The pants are custom dyed yellow, same fabric they used on the show. The coats mostly felt it's very warm, cozy. I love it. Mm -hmm. And the uh, hair? Uh, what was it? It's called Party Bazaar. It's Part actually too big for me. I had to pin it together in the bag so it fit. Ah. Now I'm just curious. Uh, what about the Sixth Doctor do you like that you want to cosplay as, as him? He's kind of got my personality. <laughs> and I mean that in the best of ways because he's a little rude and arrogant and condescending, but I am too, so I identify with that. All right. But past the rudeness, he is a nice guy and he's caring, the same as the Doctor always has been, and I like that. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Pause. Pause. Ha! Suck it! <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem. Hey everyone, managed to talk with Michelle Nichols and I actually got some really good acting advice from her. She said, you know, take lots of theater, make sure you're doing it in front of people. You know, my hat is askew, terribly askew. I'm here with this uh, nice gentleman here. Let me take the other seat. Hey. Hi. Hey. Uh, this is for uh, Jolt Studios, so I'm just running the vlog. So what do you uh, come here for? Like, what did you want to see the most? Um, I'm actually just on vacation, uh, Sisters in the Industry. So, uh, I normally do photography with these kind of things, but uh, today is just kind of hanging around, enjoying the sights. I'm actually from Seattle, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? I never caught your name. Oh, I'm Ken. Oh, nice, nice to keep, meet you, Ken. Yeah, so just hanging around, taking it easy. Yeah, taking it easy yeah. for once. I mean, I'm usually very busy during these cons. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and of course, you know, we're eating some of the food here. <laughs> some not not too over not too overpriced, but still really delicious food, good food, and that. And uh, just taking it easy now for all the panels start. Actually, some panels are starting now, but there's one at one o'clock. The comedy AMVs count, top countdown. Um, uh, Nichelle Nichols uh, panel Q and A at three o'clock. Excuse me. Um, uh, some kind of anime game uh, contest. I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll get some video after that. So now I'm I'm gonna go back and finish this food later. I'm currently at win, lose or draw. It's a contest here. Ooh. So it's, I guess it's kind of like charades. We're gonna find out more. Well, it goes well for everyone. Should be real fun. Well, just got out of the Q and A with uh, Michelle Nichols. Absolutely hilarious. She's hilarious, and she, good lord, she sings beautifully. Only got a little bit of singing, but it was really great. And it's a uh, quarter to four here, and well. It's about time that I head on home. I had a great time here at the Fan Expo, and uh, 
Well, I'll definitely be coming back here uh, next year if everything works out. Take care. Goodbye.